With The Last Jedi coming out shortly, we make it to see a new class of bad guy ship worthy of our respect, the Supremacy. The Supremacy is a mega-class Star Destroyer that serves as Snoke's flagship and headquarters to the First Order. If you think Star Destroyers were big, and then blown away by Super Star Destroyers, get a load of this thing. The wingspan is 60 kilometers. This is three executors end to end. Now I have many speculations about this ship. To build such a thing must have taken a very long time. It may have been under construction as far back as the Empire, maybe even longer. What we have here is a massive warship, a mobile headquarters, repair yard, and shipyard. This is a city in space that can actually build ships. A ship such as this would need a well-developed logistics network to provide supplies, parts, and building materials if this is indeed a mobile shipyard. Most of the time there would be a fleet of freighters and supply ships coming and going from this ship. To get material to build ships, the easiest way would be to go to an asteroid or junk field for mining. I can see this ship parking itself near an asteroid or junk belt and consuming all those raw materials. One strategic advantage of a ship like this would be its mobility. A mobile base and shipyard can evade danger, move to new resource-rich areas, or move to trouble spots. Hopefully this ship has a better than average hyperdrive rating to make this advantage relevant. These wedge slots are believed to be docking ports for Star Destroyers. If this ship acts as a sort of capital ship carrier, either the hyperdrive would be faster than the ships it carry, or it is capable of maintaining a hyperdrive for longer periods of time. The strategic disadvantage of this monstrosity is that once it's gone, it's gone. Losing this ship would be a fatal blow to the First Order, who have essentially put all their eggs in one basket, very much like the Empire did with the Death Stars. Tactically, this would be a formidable warship. I believe the wing shape allows for even more efficient firing arcs than a typical Star Destroyer. There is plenty of room along the front edge or back edge for huge turbolasers. The size of such a ship could be a problem. If we're true to science fiction, larger objects have more mass and inertia, making it more difficult to maneuver large ships of this type. This makes it an easy target to attack. I believe an escorting fleet would be essential. Consider. This ship would be very vulnerable to heroic kamikaze attacks from other well-shielded capital ships. And if this ship is disabled, heavily damaged, destroyed, or neutralized in some way, the main threat of the First Order's fleet would be eliminated. Most space warfare strategists would rather not rely on such a ship to win its wars. But the Supremacy is a good psychological weapon of terror. It is also a prestigious symbol of the First Order's might. Thank you for watching Space Friends. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. And consider checking out Patreon at patreon.com resurrected. Until next time, Space Friends.